Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Today we're going to be doing another video where we build a real life aircraft uh, and that aircraft is the Northrop YB-49. Uh, in the like 50s and I think the 60s too, Northrop Grumman, or it was just Northrop at the time, built this flying wing style plane uh, that was intended to be like a bomber. It's kind of the spiritual like predecessor to the B-2. It was this really cool plane um, that had these jet engines in it. It was super agile and basically because of politics and a couple other reasons, it never made it to full production, but there were prototypes built. So using images of those prototypes, which I have looked at before this video, we are going today to today make that plane uh, and fly it see how it flies so I'm gonna start with this cockpit uh, now let me immediately I could change the colors so it was a kind of like a gray sort of color so we'll just set those as our agency for today um, yeah so as I said this thing was a flying wing it had uh, what looks like in the pictures anyway four jet engines small jet engines on each wing um, so let's start with fuel tanks let's get some fuel tanks here we'll do a long one and then a shorty and then we of course need our nose cone so let's do let's do this one yeah what the heck what the heck why not um, well you know what maybe Maybe instead of doing that, we just we just use a different cockpit. Yeah, we can use this one today. Uh, but you see, that doesn't look like quite right either. So let's do let's do this with the nose cone. Um, as always, this game is somewhat limited in its part selection. Uh, so you know we'll do the best we can, but it's not going to be a perfect recreation. All right, now this was, this thing did have pretty huge wings. Uh, so I'm gonna try to replicate that. I might even have to make this shorter. So very large, like this is probably pretty accurate. And it was just a slight sweep to them. So like this, and maybe to make the root length. Yeah, okay, now now we're looking, we're looking like it here. So then we'll do the same thing I do in my B2 video and we'll take these wings and we'll kind of just like, this is a little cheaty way of making a flying wing, but we just like merge them into the fuselage. Uh, yeah, so we get the line up here and we take our red arrow and we just, yeah, just like that. And then fine tune the alignment get a little yeah that looks that looks pretty similar um, to the real thing it's got a nice sweep to it this fuel tank is killing me here it doesn't look quite right so yeah actually that looks a lot better <laughs> so I'm just gonna get rid of the long fuel tank and replace it with a stubby fuel tank and then okay so now now the meat of it uh, for this design I am going to use these small fuel tanks to accommodate most of our fuel oh that's way too big uh, just because you know we can't have too many fuel tanks in the actual fusel actual fuselage itself um, since there are four Jet engines, uh, let's see what our selection is here. Performs better in lower cruising speeds and altitudes, thrust vectoring and afterburner, inefficient at sea level. So we'll go with the Panther because it's a pretty mixed use engine. And then for the intake, let's see what our selections are. We'll go with, we'll go with a simple circular intake, a classic looking jet engine, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and clone these and put <laughs> four of them. 
Maybe overkill. Maybe not. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, and then... It's something, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, so, the real craft had small winglet looking stabilizer things on the wings. Oh, it's not going to let me do that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, these are too small. So, the real thing, if you look up images, it has these kind of like vertical stabilizer looking things on either side of the bank of jet engines. So I'm going to just put them on the wings here because, um, you know, it's not really possible, is it, to put it on the wing? Yeah. Yeah, now see, that was a mistake because I'm not going to be able, okay, thank goodness. I thought I wasn't going to be able to access that again. So let's make them stubby and like pretty swept. 0 0.06, 0 0.32. So we change this to 0 0.06 and 0 0.32. Okay. It's looking good. I don't like how these two engines are clipping in here. So I'm going to take these parts off and add the smallest possible fuel tanks and then re add. Now, let's look at our center of mass and our center of pro uh, Not ideal, but not too bad. You know what, you know what, let's just, let's try it out. We'll add some landing gear and let's try it out. So, we'll add a medium landing gear right in this center. Yeah, as soon as it can go flat. So that's that's probably pretty good. And then we'll add some large landing gears because these are probably really heavy to these edges. Oh, actually that's going to be a problem. Let's they have to be the same size. Otherwise it's not going to sit flat and then it won't take off flat and then we just have a whole slew of problems. Uh actually that's not flat either, is it? Okay. Why does it still look like it's not quite flat to me? Am I seeing things, guys? I guess not. Uh, let's just do this, yeah, <laughs> the cheaty way. Uh, all right, I might have to mess with this so that the center of lift is behind the center of mass, but we're gonna see if it works first. So, just try it out, see what happens. Okay. That's that's encouraging. It didn't explode on the runway. Um, let's throttle down because I think we're going to get quite a bit of thrust out of these. Okay, maybe not so much thrust. All right. SAS is on. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, it flies... It flies easily, like at very low takeoff speeds. Oh, but is it unstable? Oh, man. <laughs> wow, look at that from the front. That's that that's pretty cool looking plane. It slow as all heck. This thing, I mean, it probably weighs way too much. It's got, it's got a ton of fuel, it's got lots of engines. I bet we could actually go faster in this by um, removing like at least one or two of these engines. These are also the Panthers, uh, so of course with the Panthers it's you're going to get some slowness. Let's see, can we successfully turn? Let's climb a little bit first. The thrust vectoring is definitely helping the stability as well. Look at the little wiggle it's got. Ah, oh, it's kind of cool. Like, it, I don't think it looks too much like the actual YB-49, but it's still a cool craft. It almost looks like the uh, the bomber in Captain America, the first Avenger, that's the, the like, Hydra bomber. I forget what it's called. Let's try to turn. Okay. Turn. 
Wow. The agility is remarkable. And, I mean, granted, like, we're kind of stalling right now, but because of the thrust vectoring, we're able to recover. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I'm impressed. You guys think we can land it? I don't, but I'll try. Can we, can we yaw? No, not really. It just kind of goes down. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do our best here to line this thing up with the runway. So, pitch up. Q. And turn. That was pretty impressive. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was pretty impressive. Deploy the gear. And they're gonna pull up a little bit. Okay, can't yaw. Or maybe we can a little bit. Uh, let's just do this instead. Okay, up. Oh, we got sideways. Okay, scrub, scrub speed, scrub speed, scrub speed. Okay, let's just turn them off. If we land anything other than completely straight, we are done for. Also, running out of one way here. Oh, look at that shadow. What a cool shadow. Oh. Brakes. Okay, well... That was pretty cool. Um, I'm surprised it worked on the first try, honestly. I didn't expect that. I'm going to do one quick uh, little experiment. We're going to replace the Panther engines with Whiplash engines because the Panther engines are wimpy compared to the Whiplash. Um, and I'm curious if it will make this thing much faster. Oh, no. Now I've done it. Control-Z. There we go. Okay. Okay. Got to be really careful about that. Thank God for Control Z. Okay, let's get our Whiplash. Now again, like I said, these are way more powerful engines. We're probably going to get a lot more speed. It might have... No, oh, about the same mass. Uh, see what happens. If you watch the video where I made a B2 bomber, you will see that these things like the flying wing I don't know if it's a like a physics exploit or if the game just like if they're actually better but it seems like flying wings are just infinitely more maneuverable than conventional planes okay seems more stable looks cooler uh, okay we're gonna have to take off no problem for this thing because it's got an insane amount of lift. Stow the gear and there she goes. It's it's quite cool. Okay, definitely faster as well. Let's do a little dive. Let's do a little dive here. See if we can pull up quickly. Oh, look at that. Man, it is quite agile. And turn right over the VAB. I, I'm really happy too with the way that they made the KSC a lot bigger. Makes it feel much more like a real science center. Which, if you ever get the chance to visit any actual NASA facility in real life, do it. It's so cool. Let's do a flip. Turn it into a barrel roll. Or not a barrel, I guess, I don't even know what I'm talking about, <laughs> as usual. Okay, so it's much faster with the Whiplash engines. So when you build your own, if you want to go for some realism, you probably will want the Panthers. But if you want fun, go with the Whiplash. Let's see, I wonder if we could do the bridge challenge. <laughs> I don't even think this will fit under the bridge. Uh, okay, let's pitch down, pitch down, go down. I'm just, like, beating this thing all over the place. Okay, alright, pull up. Oh, no. Okay. Nice. Wait, I wonder, will it let me deploy gear? No, okay. 
Uh, well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, I'll take suggestions. Just leave a comment below. I'll make anything you guys want. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps me out. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.